Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Nizzy Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in this video, you guys, we're going to be breaking down the double overtime thriller last night between Denver and Portland. What an unbelievable game, you guys. Just finished watching the highlights here. Thought I'd do a little breakdown of the game. Um, Nuggets end up hanging on in double over overtime to win by a score of 147 to 140. Um, Dame Lillard goes absolutely off. I mean, he's got to be the most clutch guy in the league, in my opinion, you guys. He's one of the most pure stroke shooters that I've ever seen. He's probably right next to uh, Steph Curry for one of the most pure scorers in the game from beyond the arc. Um, just unreal what he was able to do last night. Obviously, they ended up falling a little bit short, um, but that's no fault of his. His teammates needed to step up. He didn't have a great performance from McCollum. Um, or Carmelo Anthony didn't play that well either. Um, Norm Powell didn't play that well as well. So basically your three main guys who are your secondary scorers behind Lillard just didn't step up enough to be able to carry them to the win. Um, and then on the other side of the ball, Jokic had a wonderful performance, almost a triple-double a game. Um, but he had some help from his supporting cast, which is pretty much why they won the game um, in double overtime there. So a little bit of a breakdown. 55-point night from Dame Lillard. I think he shot about 70% from the field, so he wasn't missing anything. It was like 17 to 24 shooting, I believe it was. Um, six boards and 10 assists as well on top of that with one steal and three blocks. I mean, the fact that he had three blocks as a point guard, and he's not a tall point guard either. That's just insane. He was doing everything to keep his team in it. I know in the first half there, they took a big hit. They were down by almost 20 points to Denver early, um, and he brought them all the way back, got it close at halftime. They had a bit of a lead there in that third quarter before Denver came storming back to keep it nice and close. And then obviously throughout the overtime, that first OT there, Denver kind of started running away with it. I think they had an eight or nine point lead with a couple minutes left. And then it was Dame time once again. He just started banging in everything. I mean, just an incredible thing to watch. Heartbreaking that he couldn't pull off the dub. Uh, for his team, but he really didn't get a lot of help. I mean, his three other guys, McCollum finished with 18 points, uh, Norm Powell finished with 13, and uh, Carmelo Anthony finished with 8 points. So not that great from your three guys, kind of that would need to be giving you some good scoring depth uh, other than uh, Dame Lillard there. So, And their shooting stroke wasn't very good. Like McCollum shot 7 to 22 from the field, pretty low shooting percentage. Uh, Norm Powell shot 5 of 14, not that great, and 3 of 11 for Melo. Um, so just didn't get a lot of help in the secondary scoring from, from the Portland Trailblazers. Dame Lillard just carried his team on his back. Probably shouldn't have even made it to double overtime, but he was just banging in everything left, right, and center. Doesn't matter what it was. I mean, just incredible to watch. Got to be probably the most clutch shooter in clutch time situations that we've ever witnessed. Maybe up there with MJ and stuff, but at least in the modern era. I don't know if there is another clutch, more clutch guy than, uh, Dame Lillard, man, because he just, especially the difficulty of the shots he's making, he's not making wide open threes, he's hitting turnaround fades, he's hitting shit that's almost at the half court, I mean, just incredible to watch this guy perform, um, heartbreaking that he wasn't able to pull off the W, um, but they got a home game coming up in game six to see if we can push it to game seven, this has been one of the best series so far, I would say, in the NBA playoffs, um, two great teams just doing it out, duking it out. Um, Jokic had a wonderful performance for the Nuggets, going for 38 points, 11 boards, 9 assists, and adding a steal and 4 blocks on top of that. So he was over, all over the floor doing everything uh, necessary for his team to win. And I say the reason Nuggets won is he had some secondary help. He had Michael Porter Jr. get 26 points and 12 boards for you. And you had Morris come off the bench and get 28 points. Um, so just having those secondary guys being able to get into the get some solid points for you, being shooting efficient. Um, that just really helped Jokic and the Nuggets be able to take this one home. Um, and unfortunately for Lillard, he was really the only guy on his team that was going off last night. Um, you know, it would have been a blowout if it wasn't for that guy. I mean, he kept him in it all the way, hit that last second shot at the end of the fourth quarter uh, to tie it up, and then brought him all the way back after they were down nine in the first overtime, tied it up again, and then uh, just wasn't able to keep, keep him in it there in that last... <clears throat> that last uh, double overtime there. So, and then obviously with just with that last possession when uh, McCollum stepped out of bounds on the uh, sideline there, that pretty much wrapped things up. So, pretty unfortunate for the uh, Portland Trailblazers, but a really nice win for the Nuggets. I like both teams here, you guys. So I'm not really 
too upset on who wins this series. I'm cheering for both teams. I'm all, I'm all for the small market teams, so I could care less about the, the Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets. And I'm happy the Celtics are out, but I'd like to see the Nets go out next round. I'd like to see Milwaukee or something like that move on. Um, yeah, I just want to see some small market teams. I'm a Raptors fan myself, so I'd like to see the small market guys try and make it to the finals. Um, great series going on. Game six is going to be coming up here soon and uh, should be an absolute battle. Dame's going to need some help from McCollum, uh, Powell, Mello, uh, Yosef Nurkic, guys like that. They're going to need to step up. Robert Covington, all those guys are going to have to step up and help Lillard out. This guy can't do it alone. And unfortunately, Portland just doesn't have the defense, uh, defensive capabilities basically to uh, hold them under 100 points. Like it's going to be a struggle. They got to score so many points to be able to win against the Nuggets because their defense is just atrocious. Um, so it's an uphill battle for sure. I think they could definitely possibly take game six here. And then who knows what will happen in game seven. I mean, Dame is such a clutch player. Wouldn't even be surprising to me if he just goes off for 60 in game seven and somehow uh, brings his team to a victory and uh, moves on to the next round. So we'll have to see what happens, you guys. But nonetheless, probably the best game of the NBA playoffs so far, this double overtime thriller. Um, Dame falls a little bit short with his 55-point night. Um, but Jokic pulls through with 38 points and uh, leads the Nuggets to a victory. So let me know, know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Who you guys rooting for? you think that uh, Portland can push it to a Game 7? Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think about this game and uh, this series in general. So anyways, you guys, thank you for watching the video. And this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat signing off. Peace.